<laughs> so we have V here from Cow Cow uh, and our, our first podcast guest. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome, V. Thank you for having me. And um, because, like, I know it's such a pain to, like, rehash a story over and over. Mm. Like, um, sometimes people ask me about, like, my stories from like, Afghanistan or how I got injured. Right. You ever watch the movie Creed? Yes, yes. You remember in the beginning when Rocky is telling, is talking to the guest, and the guy is telling the, Rocky's telling the story, and the guy finishes the story for him? Yeah. I felt in my soul for Rocky at that oh my moment. God. <laughs> you feel like a broken record telling the same yeah. story over and over and over. Yeah, for sure. Um, I've definitely done a decent amount of interviews in like the three years that I've been running Cow Cow. And um, mm. I feel like, you know, the starting story has been replayed a lot. <laughs> I can't believe it's been three years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, three years. Do you ever remix the story? <laughs> Um, hard to remix history. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. But just for anyone who's watching who doesn't know your background mm -hmm. real quick, I'm going to just uh, give them the heads up that mm -hmm. um, you opened the business in 2018. Mm -hmm. You were a pre-med stu student and pivoted to your business now. Yeah, I was. Um, were you, were you, was that like a, a expectation? At the time, was that did that surprise you as much as it did your parents, or were, like you kind of like, were you in your, were you kind of like saying to yourself, maybe pre med's not it? I don't know. Mm, I think I've always had an interest in entrepreneurship. Yeah. Um, and because I was taking a gap year between undergrad and grad school, um, I wanted to try something new, and that's kind of how Cow Cow started as just like an experiment, so that I wouldn't have any regrets. Um, looking back and um, it kind of just grew into something that it is today it blossomed. pretty awesome yeah. Yeah. yeah you guys you started as a food truck first yes right? yes yeah hope you guys know <laughs> that uh you missed out if you <laughs> have not gone to the food truck before <laughs> yeah it was um it was really crazy because we started off it was just me before and um it i would drive the trailer to uh, Waterman Street by myself, set up by myself. Yeah. Wow. I was doing, you know, taking orders, making waffles um, by myself. And uh, that was really an interesting time. Um, eventually, we were able to grow our team uh, little by little. We started off with like just two employees and now we're at almost 20. Wow. I was going to say, like, how many people do you guys have now? Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's um, amazing. 20, 20 people on your team. 20 people on our team. Yeah. yeah. And now you're in that's a brick great. and mortar? Yes. <sighs> yes. Um, we are on Ive Street right across from Chomp and on the same street as Tallulah's and PB Donuts. Um, so we're in good company over there. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Those places are really good. Um, have you been? You know it. I'm not a foodie, Mimi. <laughs> That's true, but you like desserts, Terry. You're like a sweets person. You should do you like? Yeah, but my my idea of a good time is like like this week. I just let myself go for eat whatever I want before I start changing my triathlon. So this whole week mm. has been like cheat week for you. So this is this is what I'm trying to picture for you. It's like I open a jar to tell of a spoon. That's my oh. week going wild. Okay? Wow. <laughs> So like, I mean, that's yeah. I I don't even do that, but <laughs> <laughs> but I've seen the photos. I mean, they look outstanding. There, oh, yeah, you. everything is delicious there. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I think it was really important for us to not just be Instagram worthy, but also have a really tasty product mm -hmm. as well. I don't want. Yeah, it's great that we can draw people in through Instagram, but I want them to stay because of the the taste of yeah. the product as well. Yeah. How That's, they feel and, and the, remember the whole experience. Not 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 just like you said, oh, I'm here for the photo op. I'm here just because oh, a friend recommended it. Oh, well, so. the food is definitely insta worthy. Like if you go, even the shop is and everything, mm -hmm. but the flavors definitely match the like aesthetic. aesthetic yeah jinx you may love. <laughs> yeah i think that was really important as well because i didn't want to just be one of those places that's like oh it looks really great online and it's gonna like oh it's okay yeah you know? and those places like they last for a couple months they, they mm -hmm. do well and they're in the hot spot and then boom you know they, you see those places drop off it's unfortunate yeah. but yeah it's kind of like this society. every time we, we drive by cow cow there's a line around the block yeah literally like every every time like yeah. after dinner i'm like oh yeah let's go get some dessert and i go i'm like oh my god look at those people <laughs> yeah and it's like oh yeah yeah, yeah. it but was pretty crazy <laughs> but you can't go wrong though ice cream and um 
What is uh, the waffle especially? So um, it's called a bubble waffle or an egg waffle. Mm -hmm. It originated in Hong Kong. Um, it's a really popular like street food. Okay. Um, I grew up eating it from this grandma in Chinatown up in Boston. Oh my god! Used I to remember. Make yeah, I remember that. You guys remember the same lady, or just like just well, go she to had Boston like a for it? Truck, like, like well, a it cart. Was a cart. It was yeah. not a truck. It was more of a cart. It was okay. like one of those inside like, a building. Yeah, aluminum carts, and she'd be selling the egg waffles in paper bags. Yeah, I forgot how much they were. They were really cheap. Um, they were really cheap. Now they're like probably about four dollars. Wow. Now. Before yeah. it was like when we were younger, it was it was cheap and it was good and it was a nice mm -hmm. little like snack and it was like that perfect amount of sweetness mm -hmm. and flavor. I don't know if you've ever had it from there, but no, I don't. those are I definitely great recall. memories, too. As a child yeah. going to Chinatown in Boston, we would get that and, like, bun me and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah so. It definitely Boston. has to be no, <laughs> all day in the, in the bakery, but I don't mm -hmm. remember the, the little... The oh, every time we go, I would be like, Mom, Dad, can we go and get some? I didn't know what they were called. Mm. She uh, was inside or outside? She was inside, like, this building... Mm -hmm. with stairs she's still there oh she's still oh, there she's still there oh. yeah. you tracked her down and like talked um, to her and were like you inspired me no because <laughs> I don't think she would understand okay <laughs> yeah. language oh, probably just probably speaks Cantonese yeah, yeah but she um I still whenever we're in Chinatown we definitely still grab some I would say her waffles taste different from ours mm -hmm. but definitely still very homey and yeah where where we started I totally or, agree the like, waffles yeah. taste very homey and they're delicious they are you would like them if you... They would. They look... I'm not even just saying to say this. Like, they look awesome. I'm just a hardcore, like, Rhode Islander who doesn't want to drive more than, like, 10 or 15 minutes well, on my way. Well, you can go to Ive Street now and experience <laughs> these bubble waffles. Well, uh... <laughs> you taking photos Dude, in the it's in Providence. Yeah. Not too far. It's not far. Uh, you drive into... I'll ask for the one who was, like, the, for the, the, the meatheads who are, like, the protein... <laughs> Protein uh, waffle. We we have had a few people suggest that. Oh my god, <laughs> that has been a suggestion, but I don't know if we'll ever go down that road. So, what variety of waffles do you guys have? Um, so sure. right now we have um, six combinations. I like to say like kind of like Sundays, and then um, we have four waffle different waffle flavors. So we have the original, and then we have a chocolate chip, a matcha, and then a vegan gluten free option. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I that sounds so good. You're I, such a foodie meme. I know. I well, I've had the original and the chocolate chip, and I have to say the chocolate chip is my favorite. It's like it my tops favorite. the original. <laughs> I used to just love the original, and it's got amazing texture, like straight off of the um, the waffle maker. Mm -hmm. And then with the ice cream, you have the warm waffle. It's nice and crispy on the outside. You have this delicious ice cream and the toppings, and it's just like wonderful marriage of different <laughs> flavors and i hope i'm selling this to you right now because you're gonna have to go over there and try it since you haven't tried it yet terry yeah right. and uh, it's really not keep tabs on like in like future date places so. <laughs> Actually, it's a great yeah. date place. yeah, okay. yeah. you see a lot of couples go yeah and it's definitely shareable too that's that's my big thing it's a big cone so mm -hmm. I, I i would personally share it but if you want your own cone that's cool too you know yeah house, i don't know i'm sharing on a dessert first thing <laughs> like to the house when we first tried it we shared right we, yeah and then afterwards we're like we're getting our own from now on like, yeah, no it's so good none for you and also we also get different flavors so we do share that like i'll have i'll try some of tim's and then mm -hmm. tim will try some of mine but he's like you always go with the same one i'm like yeah because i yeah. like it yeah, he likes <laughs> to play it safe uh, i'm big on the specials right mm -hmm. uh, so it depends on who you're clapping with and you know we're big on support mm -hmm. local and i know you're always clapping with like work ice cream or different yeah. vendors so mm -hmm. how did those collabs kind of um, come to life or you know do they reach out to you or do you reach out to them like how, how does it usually work mm, it's a little bit of both I think it really started from like our food truck days where we would go to events and there's like a bunch of food trucks around right mm -hmm. so you'd naturally just go and say hi to everyone and that's kind of how I met a lot of um, my food truck friends and friends in the industry um, but Luckily, in Providence, everyone's really, really nice. Like, they're willing to help in any way that they can and, like, very approachable. Mm -hmm. So I have been very fortunate to make really good connections with um, Whisk Me Away is someone that we uh, collaborate with often. We use Warwick Ice Cream as our supplier. Um, we use Big Feeling a lot, which is also another local ice cream vendor. Um and they're just like, they're so sweet. And I feel like whenever I have a vision, they're able to make that vision come in to like fruition, mm -hmm. uh, which is always so fun. Yeah. That sounds, I know, I, I definitely agree with you that people in Providence, like the different um, vendors, business owners, entrepreneurs, they're very, 
very nice. Mm-hmm. The community is yeah, great, the community you know? is very because um, it's small and you get to know people and everybody wants to help um, mm-hmm. one another, so it's great. Um, let's see what else besides the ice cream. What other? I know you have regular ice cream there, right? Mm-hmm. You guys also offer vegan options. Mm-hmm. Is that correct? Where do you guys get that from? Um, we source it through Nadamu right oh. now. So um, they use like gluten free cookies and things like that mm-hmm. as well, which makes it more um, accessible for mm-hmm. people who also want gluten free options. So um, they use primarily, I think they only use coconut milk, mm. um, which is also, it, it tastes really good. I think that, you know, when it comes to vegan things, like our waffle, I wouldn't say our vegan waffle tastes mm-hmm. like our original waffle, but it's good in its own way. That so you also offer vegan waffles. Mm-hmm. I was wondering about that because I know the waffles you you have this egg egg goes into the mm-hmm. waffle. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, that makes a lot of sense if you would offer an e- a vegan waffle. I didn't know if do people can people just get ice cream as well without the waffle? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, so that's an option nice. as well. We do like um, just ice cream in a cup or ice cream with the toppings um, in a cup. Uh, we offer like to go options as well, so you can have it to go and just take it home and enjoy it later on. And do you have like a mix and match? So say someone sees a special and they only like the toppings, or they they like the featured ice cream, and then they they're like, oh, can I do the the matcha and swap out, you know, mm. just the ice cream. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So we um, we don't really say that you can build your own cone, but mm. we pretty much are able to substitute or make it as readily available however you want it for the most part. Yeah. So when you started your food truck, right? Mm-hmm. I was so when I was at PVD Fest, I was just gonna shoot in the breeze with one of the the food truck guys. He told me like, I don't know what it is now, but I just I'm curious in your in your experience, and I'm just relaying his story from the past he said back when he started up it was like really vicious it was like kind of like uh like drug dealers with their own corners mm. like guys would like slash each other's tires and stuff like that wow. oh my god it's I didn't like know that. this is like my corner that's your corner like you know like some really like how long, eye for an eye that's how that's long crazy. ago was this i don't like, know I but like everybody's pretty nice to so, each other so i think the, the way he was explaining i think it was like in the 80s i was like oh, oh man i didn't oh, know that's how like that. I didn't yeah. know like like life was like that as a food truck vendor. You know what I mean? Like this is my turf. Like you know, back when the mafia was still turf at large. wars back yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I personally never experienced that. Um, I think also partly because nobody really has like dessert trucks. Like when you think of an ice cream truck or things like that, it's more of like the tri- typical ones that go around the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Um, so I personally never experienced any issues in terms of like parking and things like that. Um, also, like when I was on Waterman Street, I didn't go during lunchtime, which is when a lot of the trucks go out for like the Brown University students. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually went during the nighttime because dessert is usually a night venture mm, um so you got the people hung over yeah i yeah. kind of yeah <laughs> we do get a few of those right. you would have got me for yeah. sure <laughs> i would have been down your truck it's like a nightcap yeah, yeah. or also like after dinner you yeah. know like people go out for dinner or they have yeah. dinner they're like oh i kind of want some ice cream and yeah so we, accessible. we um we were open i believe it was like wednesday through sunday four to nine or something like that before when we were on the truck and um those hours worked really well for us and nobody was really around it was really just us Uh so um i know mike's mike's ice used to be around but then um they fell off and so we kind of just like took that spot yeah Mm. nice well i that's very interesting with the food truck stories that yeah, you I never heard, heard that before. other people i was like yeah. i didn't know people are slashing tires i'm like yeah, oh no, my god yeah maybe with like food trucks that are similar or like sell similar cuisine <laughs> yeah. i'm sure Wipe out the competition i'm sure they are like a little they're like <laughs> there's some tension there i'm sure i think without exaggeration i think he said like someone's like like shooting someone's like truck like oh my god. letting letting leaving a message like hey listen this is my block wow oh my god. okay well like i'm that. glad that doesn't happen anymore <laughs> yeah jeez yeah. my goodness that that's so scary <laughs> yeah, so we're the, a civil society I know, right? <laughs> the name cow cow like um i i because you're, you're laotian correct yes yes so i, I had assumed that it would have been and i was like oh am i just like a stupid laotian doesn't get it you know <laughs> but then i read up like it's um you know cow yeah which people don't understand and uh don't know in laotian cow means food Mm-hmm. I think that's really, um, really catchy the way, you, you know, cow cow food food. Yeah. 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 Um, I think uh, I was looking for something that was easy to say, but also incorporated my culture. And um, that's where cow cow came. Yeah, from. definitely easy. And it sticks. Yeah, it sticks. Like you, fun. You'll never yeah. forget it. Emphasis, you yeah. 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 
yeah. So um, I think it's, yeah, it, it was really funny because we were just thinking about names and I was like, I really like when names have two, like they repeat themselves. Mm -hmm. um, and so we we're really lucky. It was just like one night and we were just like, yeah, cow, cow. That sounds pretty good. What was a runner up? <laughs> um, <laughs> it was another Lao name, but I, I, I was like, I don't know. Maybe it's like not appropriate or people like would take it the wrong way. But I really like the name Dui Dui. <laughs> oh, okay. Can you explain for you watch what it means? Uh, <laughs> Dui, it's like, it's like chubby means like oh someone that's chubby but it's yeah. like it can be <laughs> it's my nickname it's like a, a really <laughs> i do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah i feel like it's like a term of fluffy. endearment yeah yeah, yeah. i it's feel it's, it's definitely it's a term of endearment when it comes from like yeah. the yeah. Lao like, culture because when you're nicknamed they call well, you that be, uh, it's like yeah you might be a little chubby but it's like uh, it's cute it's a know. term of endearment yeah, you know? well like, it's also in the laotian culture we don't have too many adjectives you know yeah. like literally my brother was i joy the skinny uh, one yeah. and i was the fat skinny. one yeah. <laughs> like, so. it's like in spanish they say gordito yeah that's true yeah, yeah. or gordita it just a help when you grow up in america and people are like you know it's like it's not okay to call you fat it's i not. know i know so that's my mom it's yeah. definitely different it's different um yeah but yeah, that is cute. Yeah, I like that. I mean, <laughs> there's other words of endearment that I think other people in other cultures would be like, "That's weird." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah like you know, hum noi, hum. Yeah, you know, like, you know. It's like, should mm. we bleep that out? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you technically have to yeah. bleep it out. Not many people know so, what that. Means. So what else could look? If you look know, it up. you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. So real quick then. Um, you're Lao Asian. Mm -hmm. We're all. I think we're all first generation Amer Asian American, right? Yes. 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 Were your parents like the stereotypical like Asian tiger mom and dad? Did you have to like fight them tooth and nail on this? Was this like a mm. battle or how that? Play out? Um. So in the beginning, it was like it was pretty tough. I think they thought it was really gonna be like a passion project, oh, like oh. a hobby. They were like, "This like, could get over. It's a favor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your gap year. You're yeah, gonna, you're, you're you're just do what you want. Your yeah. Time. You know? it's yeah. Cool. yeah, at least she's not like, you know, rolling Molly out there, like, you yeah, know, Cali. You know, like, I'm not, like, trying to find myself, like, in Europe or something, mm -hmm. like, far away from them. Like, oh, she just wants to try something new. Um, so I think that's how they took it. Mm -hmm. And then when I was like, oh, like, I think this could, like, really work. They're like, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they're, like, they're like the way for everyone to bed. They're like, what do we gotta do? <laughs> they're like, oh man. Especially my mom is very like strict mm -hmm. in the sense of like the direction of education. Like, mm -hmm. She really wanted me to um, continue pursuing my medical career, um, and so it doesn't help that my brother is also a doctor. Damn. Yeah. Dr. So Gary. like, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like. What's up, Gary? Yeah, to... <laughs> hey, good luck Gary. in LA. <laughs> um, so yeah, that didn't help either. Mm -hmm. Um, because I think everybody knows that our parents like really idealize the idea and concept of becoming a doctor, becoming a lawyer, those like really, you know, big names. Mm -hmm. Um, and so like having potentially two doctors in the family like it's like this is what i came from <laughs> for a 1k baby yeah it's like, that's, what, that's what i came here for you know? yeah like and they put did, that pressure on that. you you know like yeah yeah all but, the struggles the crazy stories that you hear and it's like yeah you know i did it for your better life and it's like, yeah that's so like oh yeah you're gonna be a doctor like thank you you know it's like, like yeah like thank yeah. you for them well it worked out for all you guys because you're now a successful business owner right. you're an engineer tim mimi's gonna be like a doctor <laughs> you know i'm the only person disappointing his parents since 1986 <laughs> so now nah, you're a business owner too Come on, I know. Yeah. Don't take yourself well. down. Our parents yeah. all stress education, which is also very important. Yeah. Okay. But they have, you know, their own kind of direction with it. They mm -hmm. have their own sights and yeah. It's different. So yeah. different. Yeah. From really how is. we are. But it's a traditional clash, right? You mm -hmm. got all this idea of how to live a successful life, stability, good mm -hmm. career. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's other ways to make money. There's other ways to pursue your passions, you know? Like, you took that leap, and mm -hmm. that's that's something to applaud. It's not something to take lightly. Yeah. And, um, you know, you became your own boss, and then yeah. the, the boss of 20 people, now you said. I that's know. Like, so Which how is, is it? Impressive. That's, that's <laughs> that. Yeah. Uh, it's already yeah. tough being the boss of yourself, but being the boss of yourself and 20 people. Like, yeah. yeah. In, in your mid-20s. Yeah. Yeah. At, yeah. You know, managing while well, owning, managing 20 people, you own your own business and mm -hmm. you have it in this nice area, great neighborhood. Yeah. Everything is just, I don't know. Falling into yeah. place. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, it's pretty crazy. Um, I, so our one year 
anniversary for the store is actually coming up. Um, it's been next, a year. Next Sunday. Oh my oh, God, it's wow. been a year? It's been a year. Already? Yeah, yeah. It also is uh, my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> I opened on my birthday, That's right. which is kind of crazy. On her birthday. <laughs> um, I, oh, yeah. I don't know why that was a good Pause idea. Pause for. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're such like millennials. We need to clap. <laughs> Push the button, clap. I didn't want the mic to pick it up. I, I'm a yeah. loud clapper, so. Yeah. <laughs> One more time. Let's see. There we go. That's shout out to the happy yeah. birthday. Thank well, you. Thank you. Then. And then happy Thank birthday you. to Cow Cow. Yeah. yeah. Happy birthday. Yeah. Yeah. I wish so there was fun. like a better way of, t- <laughs> of like ending that, or, like yeah. a fade. Uh, <laughs> Instead yeah. of kind of just like. Doop. It's on <laughs> off. I'll do that man doing feed memes. Oh, yeah. Post. Thanks. Thanks. Audio um, engineer. See, you're an engineer too. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Tim. I'm sorry. Was I, was I just like a d- when I did that? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be a d- stabbed. I didn't mean to be a d- engineer too. No, because I, I had a question. I had a question in my I had a question in my mind, and I, I needed to follow through before like it escaped me. No worries. No worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. We're friends first, so. No, yeah. No, because sometimes, sometimes I'll, I'll edit a video and I'll look back on it and be like, I totally ignored Tim. Like, I didn't, like he'll say something and like I didn't like volley the ball back. Yeah. I, it's not my it's intention. It's kind of like those high fives. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I'm going to high five myself. Don't worry. It's like, it's like you say someone calls someone's name. No, you hear me? Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I, sorry. I nah, it's cool. <laughs> but I, so I don't know why this came. It's popped up my mind, no, right? Mm-hmm. So like, I mean, uh, obviously we we own Brown Original, and it's mm-hmm. like it's still a small, no, you know, small business that no one knows anything about, which is fine. But it still has I its own say struggles. Nobody, nobody. I, I feel like a decent amount of people know. Some you guys. people know. I think so. Some people. But um, if if anything, if anything at all, even like let's say like I don't plan on stopping this, but like say like I did stop this tomorrow, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like I've learned so many that lessons and so many different ways i've grown as a person that i mm-hmm. wouldn't have grown if i didn't take this route to be an op- entrepreneur oh, yeah. do, you, do you feel that way and what were those some of those thoughts oh yeah for sure i mean i so i started cow when i was 20 21 yeah so i was pretty young yeah. <laughs> i was really 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 young um so I grew up really fast, I think, in that sense, because I needed to learn a lot of things. And I never, like, I never took, like, a business class. Like, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. <laughs> like, I did a lot of Googling. Like, like that, Yeah. You know, taxes? <laughs> yeah, exactly. DBAs? <laughs> exactly. Um, I think I learned a lot of valuable things in terms of, like, being a manager as well and working with people. And what I enjoy the most is, like, the customer interaction and things like that. So um, I was able to learn just on the fly as well how to manage my own emotions and things like that and how to troubleshoot. I've learned a lot about um, electrical work. <laughs> oh my gosh, you don't yeah. think- these are life skills. I know. People, I'm like, yeah. these are life skills you pick up. Yeah. yeah, like I didn't know I was gonna know a lot about like amps and watts and like how much to put in and what does that even mean? Right. Um, because I had to know all that stuff for the food truck. Because if our generator dies, like uh, how yeah. how are we gonna fix this or like so on and so forth? So um, I feel like problem solving. My problem solving skills have increased tremendously uh, especially because of the business too oh yeah yeah we totally understand troubleshooting yeah <laughs> don't troubleshooting. we yeah those are like we are events you know intimately mm-hmm. familiar with troubleshooting oh yeah yeah, yeah. like sure. if you're 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 like okay it's seven o'clock right it's mm-hmm. super busy night boom generator goes out it's mm-hmm. too much demand and then it's like yeah it's like whoa what do you do and they have a line waiting at the food yeah. truck and it's just like oh man we're just picking up like oh yeah it teaches you fast like you oh said, yeah to yeah. learn all that stuff it's it's crazy sometimes that has happened and um we have two generators uh you just pick and choose you know like all right we got to turn off the lights and we got to keep keep it going keep it pushing yeah. like it just happens and um you know you make the most of it for sure especially opening with the store is it was such a big change like i thought because we were running the food truck that i oh like i have a little bit a little bit of experience like opening the store was a whole nother monster Mm -hmm. and just having like our stock multiplied by like 10 times and it was just it was a lot to be honest i when we first opened it was just so heavy i think just on me but also on our team because we were understaffed because we didn't know how much stuff we needed you know i thought oh you know it's gonna be super busy on opening weekend of course um because it's opening weekend but it was just 
busy every day. Yeah. You guys were non-stop. open seven days a week too, right? We were open seven days a week. Um, we are no longer open <laughs> yeah. seven days a week. Right. Um, and I think we're now open five days, and I think that helps tremendously for myself and also, like, our team. Oh, yeah, you guys definitely need, you Mental know, health. Like, time yeah. to recoup and, yes, yeah, you need some time to, like, restart the week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's just, it gets so exhausting, <clears throat> excuse me, um, that we also don't realize sometimes how exhausting it is until, like, our body tells us, like, oh, you're like stressed like you're really stressed it smacks okay. you in the face your body yeah. will tell you yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> does it tell you yeah. oh, does well, your body tell yeah. you when yeah. you're stressed yeah, yeah. It smacks you in maybe. the face yeah. <laughs> or maybe you will maybe like tim you're stressed <laughs> go sit down yeah it's more of a backhand so. yeah yeah so yeah. it really like smacks you in the face when you're really stressed and um also our our team's happiness is like one of our top priorities mm-hmm. so um you know cutting those two days was not only for me but for them as well yeah was, was that an easy transition like managing people and you know like um being that uh, i think you're naturally a people person and mm-hmm. um you, like you said you, you keep the team happy like you do a lot of team events team mm-hmm. building stuff like and that's all like natural it's not like because you guys like, like you know have to meet a metric or anything it's like mm-hmm. you're doing this because you really care mm-hmm. like how, how is that Um, I think growing to a bigger team was definitely more difficult because I never really had any management skills. Um, like I didn't know, I just was doing it based off of what I felt and how I would have wanted to be treated or Mm -hmm. would want to be treated as an employee because, you know, I've worked in the restaurant industry, I've worked in retail, but I've never worked in like a corporate company. So I didn't even really know how the structure of all that worked. Mm. So I had to do a lot of learning on on my end for that stuff, like documentation and having that stuff readily available so that there is no like second guessing um, about what they're supposed to do at certain times and things like that. Yeah. Um, the team outings, uh, I, I always incorporated that because I feel like it was important for our team to bond outside of just work. Yeah, that is the team to, you know, build the chemistry, mm-hmm. work better that way, mm-hmm. kind of get to know one another yeah. better so mm-hmm. you can run a more like fluid, I guess, environment in terms of, you know, working, managing, taking orders, mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. And it's so much more refreshing, like when you come back from those two days off that you have now and you're mm-hmm. like asking about how their life is or how their loved ones are because mm-hmm. you know and you genuinely care not yeah. hey you know like let's go get the waffle maker ready like we're yeah. just like mm-hmm. you know like hey make sure you fire that up like if Jeez. that's the first thing yes. like that's it's like oh now i'm defaulted to work you know and you're yeah. kind of like in that mindset mm-hmm. you never really get to take a, a breather yeah. i feel like a mental breather that is yeah. Yeah. yeah team morale is definitely important i think yeah especially with just how busy we were during last season it was just like they they definitely deserved Mm-hmm. those those like outings and things like that because it was just it was just go from the minute we opened the doors every day and um it, it's exhausting so they definitely deserve like we would go to um i don't know if you guys have heard of level 99 um it's kind of like an adventure <laughs> <Native> <laughs> <Mall>. <laughs> it was like Native Mall. i've been there <laughs> It's like an adventure park, I guess you could say. A what? It's like an adventure park or like uh, multiple rooms that have like challenges. It's Rhode Island? No, it's, it's in, in Natick. Natick. It's in Natick. Oh, it's yeah. not Rhode Island? Terry's not going. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't ever leave my house. I don't venture out farther it's than It's just Netflix and a spoon and a teller for a while of time. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, sounds like a great grass. team building kind of activity area yeah like that place. for sure we like to do a lot of those we're actually going on a team outing on monday to um go-kart racing and um Fun. axe throwing Fun. um so that's gonna be before we shift our hours to extended hours mm-hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> always that's in Higginson, right like that's in like the lincoln cumberland yeah the yeah. lincoln yeah. one that's the one we're gonna go to so um i've never done it uh, i've gone go-karting before i'm a little traumatized by oh, it oh no um because i got like <laughs> t-bone oh no <laughs> oh you got t-bone uh, yeah okay so that I is kind like, of traumatizing how old were you um it was like maybe a year or two ago so that's still yeah though, like it was like pretty it was pretty bad <laughs> fast moving it's a vehicle yeah. coming at you and you're not protected you're yeah like, it was pretty bad i had whiplash so. was this like an accident or was this like a five-year-old kid like, <laughs> coming for you no i don't think he was five he was like oh, an adult 
So, oh um, God. yeah, I was just like, it was one of those turns. I was turning and I don't know, maybe he wasn't turning, but he just like smacked right into me and I just, like, got whiplash and I was like driving really slow from that point. Oh I had to like God. go into the other lane. The guy's like, are you okay? Oh my God. Oh, at like, least he had some sympathy, right. and it was, so it was kind of an accident-ish, right? He didn't, yeah. it wasn't bad intentions, but... Damn, oh, the guy that hit me didn't say that. The oh. attendant did. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, hey, the guy just kept sorry. going. <laughs> rewind that back. Yeah, rewind that that guy's... I take it back. I take all back my words. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's a dick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's terrible, yeah. But, yeah. Can I ask, um, so I'm going to make some assumptions, right? Because mm-hmm. I've never met you before, as mm-hmm. person, me and you. Mm-hmm. And um, it, to me, I would I would, I would assume like you gear leadership towards more just being like a softer hand approach mm. right not saying you're a walkover mm. but you're a softer hand approach did you feel like you had to l- learn to be a bit harder in a sense mm. like you need to put more of a veil <laughs> because i'm different right like i know like i have an infantry i have a background in the infantry mm. and the way we lead is like we're gonna yeah. crush you so everyone else sees you're hurt and then if they don't want to learn, we're going to crush someone else. Very authoritative. And so that's, but that's, but I, logically, I know that's the way I lead. Mm. I'm not, I'm not like one to just, you know, rest my laurels. It's like next, next, next. Mm. So I try to keep that in mind, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When I'm working in a team environment, because I don't want to be that guy, like where it's like, oh, we got to, here comes Terry. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So like, I'm very aware of myself. <laughs> was that, that level of awareness you were like, I can't let people walk over me? Or was that something that kind of came in the process? You were like oh, I have to put up boundaries? Mm, I think a little bit of both. I think uh, my team, even though they feel very comfortable with me, um, they understand that I'm still their boss and they treat me that way and they respect me in that way. Um, But I definitely feel like I had to put my foot down on certain things and really, you know, follow up on things that I feel naturally maybe I wouldn't have um because I kind of just entrusted them because I would say like I'm a pretty trusting person like off the bat so um there were things definitely I had to learn as a manager like okay I need to kind of like tighten up a little bit on certain things just to make sure that um things don't get lost or things don't get forgotten and think they think that oh like V's gonna be okay with that um so there have been definitely a little bit of a change in my um, managing style, for sure, throughout Growing time. pains, yeah. yeah. Growing pains, yeah. Very you valid. learn, yeah. You learn. Yeah, you adjust sure. your leadership philosophies a bit. You know, you tweak yeah. them, you know, yeah. fine tune them. But yeah. yeah, like in the past three years since you've opened the shop, mm-hmm. it's, uh, I mean, the business, it's been like a lot of learning. Oh, yeah. Everything is, lear- you're always learning new things every day. Mm-hmm. That three years is like six in terms of what you've learned, right? Like, I feel like I've learned a lot, yeah. Yeah. Um, there are certain things that I've learned that sometimes you don't even realize that you've learned. Uh, it just comes out. And then when someone asks you about it, it's like, oh, yeah, I did actually. Wow. I actually did learn that like while I was doing this. It kind of just came naturally or I had to learn it. And um, it was a skill that I developed unknowingly. Um, but now I can relay that that skill to, to others if they have. Um, I, I get a lot of questions from people who like, want to start food trucks and things like that and i'm always honored that they they think of me or like reach out to me yeah. or i feel comfortable enough to reach out and be like hey like i have a few questions like do you mind like, sitting down and talking about like your experience and things like that which is awesome like that people look at me as like a potential man yeah you're a role model to a lot yeah, of people exactly. which yeah. is like really weird <laughs> no you it's like 21 when you made that i know, you know like, that's crazy know. yeah not blowing smoke but like seriously like what you've done is like really amazing i mean most businesses don't even anticipate being cash flow positive mm. you're like yeah like, hit the ground like, running you could, because yeah especially you hit the ground running especially in your business it's like you have to be cash flow positive you can't mm-hmm. sit on this ice cream forever like yeah you know it's got expiration right even though it's ice cream could last for a while but you know <laughs> yeah. You, yeah 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 yeah. You know, yeah we're totally gassing you up like for sure oh. we're throwing smoke at it that's it's, <laughs> I know. it's nothing it's, to take lightly it's yeah it's, it's really amazing to see well, most businesses fail within three to five years mm. and you're like ex- you're not only successful but you're growing yeah it's like you could easily franchise 
you know, in a reasonable amount of time if you wanted to. Yeah, we have had some people interested in franchising. Wow. Um, but I, I don't know if I want to go down that route mm -hmm. uh, just yet. I do have a long-term goal of having at least one cow-cow in every state in New England. That would be like a goal, like a really big goal of mine. But right now we're kind of just starting small and possibly opening a second location in, in Rhode Island. We're looking into maybe Boston and things like that within the next few years. Yeah. So. Yeah, we're um, definitely looking to expand and um, are fortunate enough to, to be doing well and be, to be able to expand as yeah. well. I was going to ask you, I was like, do you have plans for expansion? <laughs> and it seems like you guys have already, you've already thought about it. Yeah. And that's yeah. great. In three years already, it's like, here, what are we doing next? Yeah. What else are you guys planning on next? Um, I don't. I don't really know. Like, I, I feel like I've been so hyper-focused on Cow Cow that um, I don't know if there's anything else that I really want to do besides mm -hmm. expansion. Um, I did mention, like, potential franchising and things like that. Um, but I don't know what what is next for me or for, for Cow Cow mm -hmm. right now. Um, yeah. How about in a slightly oh. different direction? Um, I know you tried the could be accent so mm -hmm. if you don't know that it's like chicken noodle soup for yeah, yeah. it's very homey really? very it's, very like, homey. it's yeah. a comfort dish it's for sure. yeah it's, yeah. it's, it's my, it's my favorite, favorite. <laughs> yeah it's a go-to for a lot it's of people sober <laughs> pho. yeah, yeah. Be like all day yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. personally as well you can spice it up and season it the way you want it so you've tried that before right and i yeah. think that was one of the ideas for cow cow when you first started right yeah so on the truck it was initially supposed to be copiate um but then i quickly learned that the space probably wouldn't be appropriate mm. for that um but i think maybe a year or two years in um i did do pop-ups like I think it was Saturdays and Sundays. Yes, I did pop we went to multiple yes. times. Yeah, yeah. Um, we went. Um, they went, and then we also did noodle making classes. And surprisingly, it did pretty well for the fact that people didn't know really what it was, and um, like people bought tickets to our noodle making classes. I remember our biggest class was like twenty people, and I was like, "That's oh a God. pretty decent sized class, yeah. though." Yeah, and that's twenty that's strangers, right? Like, yeah, not just yeah. completely yeah. Like strangers, like, did not yeah. know them, and I was just like, I was just surprised that people even came. That's the <laughs> yeah. best feeling when you tell yeah. people like, oh like I'll text Mimi and Tim, like, "Do you know this person?" Uh, like like oh, back um, in the day earlier, yeah, 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 yeah. we were like, "We don't know this person." Is a stranger buying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and we yeah. see the order come through, and we're like, "Yes." Yeah. Yeah. People really do care, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I still feel that way. Like, the fact that people, they come down from... I had customers one time come down from New Hampshire to come to Cow Cow. Mm -hmm. And, like, I have people... Spare. Terry, if people come down from New Hampshire, you can go <laughs> from Johnston to Providence. Why, why are you going to ask me that camera, memes? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm pushing you to go. I'm tr yeah. Trust me, you're going to love it. Because you're, you're a dessert person. You're a sweet guy. We also yeah. have a Nutella drizzle, so... Yeah. Yeah. You're oh. talking about that. When I start That's dating old. next year. <laughs> because when I start dating next year. <laughs> but yeah, so we're really fortunate that people are willing to troop down from all different places just to try us. But um, back to the noodles thing, um, we did do that. And it was really, honestly, it was a lot of work. Um, and Because you're hand making the noodles too, right? And then all the prep ingredients, because it's not just, like I said, just noodles, broth, and you know whatever protein you want to add. Yeah. It's like you were doing the... I don't know how to call it the, the breadsticks, like uh, the jackwai. Yeah, yeah. I don't know the American way to say that. Yeah, but it's yeah. like a fried dough, like yeah. a fried breadstick, essentially, like a Chinese donut. <laughs> Doesn't yeah. it take like twenty four hours of broth to just even like uh, marinate? It, ta it takes a while. <laughs> marinate. I don't know. That amount of foodie <laughs> memes. <laughs> you, you know, don't have to be a foodie. That's why we had you as on camera broth. for the foodie stuff. He's a shoot. <laughs> turn on the water and make it hot for a long marinate time. broth. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. I got down was upstairs <laughs> waiting. <from> <laughs> yeah, I mean the broth we we would m wake up and we would make it in the morning and then we opened on Saturday I think we opened around three and then on Sunday we opened for lunch. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was it was a really interesting time and the fact that people um, came in that we didn't know and like we sometimes would have like a little line going on. We we're like I was like really happy. Like I was so happy yeah. because I was you know a, such a proud moment too. Yeah. For you. Because oh you know that's like my culture and I was able to share that and people with people that had no idea 
what this even was. And they were just coming in just to try it yeah. um, because I mm. said to come and try it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not like it's pho. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh. But it's not like it's pho where it's super popularized, right? Everyone yeah. knows pho. That's a, that's a household word. Mm-hmm. It could be accent, like chicken noodle soup, like our mm-hmm. art style. Is, yeah. It's not. That's not a... Mm-hmm. common thing you know like you really have to kind of break barriers to get that out well that's why like a lot of like laotian restaurants they're they're called thai restaurants only because right. people yeah. don't know about laotian restaurants know. you have to call it thai yeah. to market yeah. which is fair enough i get it like yeah i'm not trying to lose money if i'm over a restaurant right but yeah <laughs> it's a business move what if you opened up a next year brick and mortar another brick and mortar <laughs> that's off uh Kupiak? yeah and yeah so the reason the reason why we didn't do it Again, it was just because of the work. It was yeah. just so much work. It is labor do. intensive. You it's know, a lot of Lao food is very labor intensive yeah. to make. So, like it's um, it was authentically, <laughs> yes. Okay, you got to marinate early, man. <laughs> <laughs> you got to marinate the broth. I want to cut that out. I didn't see marinate. <laughs> <laughs> That's not making it to the final cut. <laughs> but um, no, like I feel like it was it was a really great experience. Um, I'd love to maybe do it like one day again, just as a pop up, maybe at our shop. Like during the weekend or something, I don't know. Because we still do have customers that ask us, it's like, oh, are you gonna do like the noodle making classes again? I'm like, don't, don't. <laughs> yeah. Don't make a breath. I know you're loyal and you've been here since the beginning, but like, <laughs> like I really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I know. But like, yeah, let's not talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> do you have any like OG customers come up? Oh yeah. yeah. Like how do they how do they show they're an OG customer? Um, well, I I think I probably am the only one. <laughs> <laughs> that knows that they're an OG customer, but I've ha- I have customers that were like the very first person in line. Wow, that still come and like we're on a first oh name basis. It's like really really sweet. <laughs> you guys are also. <laughs> Why are you pointing to yourself? No, I wasn't. I was, I was like, going to say, is, is, are there, I was pointing my finger as an emotion. I, was, uh, I wasn't saying us. I was going to say, like. You're like pointing at yourself. You're like this. Give you the tape on that. I was just going to do a hand gesture. <laughs> <laughs> men, men don't go like this, Mimi. We go like yes, this. Like, oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I was yeah. Say, that is super I was, sweet. I was making a full circle. No, it really okay. is really sweet. I, I, I was just trying to help you yeah. out, Tim. I don't know what you were trying to do yeah. over there, bro. <laughs> to have people come back, like repeat customers, especially yeah. the ones from day one. Yeah. You know? And they really appreciate it, too, when like we we remember them and yeah. know their names and like i remember their wives names and stuff wow. they bring wow. their families it's like really sweet um and yeah they follow me on like my personal instagram oh. and stuff that's that's awesome that's super intimate which is like, really yeah, yeah which is the the type of atmosphere i wanted to make with cow cow but now we just have so many new customers that it's just it's hard to mm. remember everyone but back yeah. then if we had repeat customers like i knew their name i still know their names to yeah. this day if i see them yeah so yeah. it's uh very special to us for sure speaking of new kind of shifting gears a little bit how do you guys come up with like the different combinations mm. of ice cream flavors and toppings like mm-hmm. did you have like a lot of trial and error when mm. it came to like the original or um well i guess we'll six. talk about that first yeah the original yeah. six and then we'll talk about your specials gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> um so the original six i just got like a group of my friends over one day it was like maybe 10 of us and i had like spreadsheets out for everyone to like vote their favorite oh okay yeah I was, like, so, you had so i had like different like flavor combinations so a testing group yeah and they all tried it and like rated which one was their favorite and um things like that and from that was what, how we got our oh. top six. Because it was kind of just, I wanted to make sure also that we had flavors for everyone. Mm-hmm. You know, if somebody likes chocolate, we have something really chocolatey. If somebody wants something more fruity, we have something fruity, um, something more basic. Uh, just flavors so that everybody, if you look at the menu, at least there's one for you. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was important when thinking of the original six flavors. Yeah. Lots of love in your business, I could feel. Yeah, <laughs> lots of care, you know. Give people options and being authentic about it, and that's yeah. cool. Like that, you have like a, a foundation group. Like yeah, yeah. Do, do they ever like? Do they have a special frame in the shop? And no, they don't. No. Unfortunately, <laughs> no. I didn't <laughs> name. I didn't name them after them though. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no. But um, they 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 were really supportive of being there and being honest about their opinions and things like that. That's that was very really important. important. That's really good. I mm-hmm. think that's super like what's the word i can't think of the word wholesome yeah yeah thank you mm-hmm. thank you for completing right. my thoughts <laughs> <laughs> but <married>. so <laughs> that's, that's why yeah oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> but so when it comes to the the different specials like mm-hmm. do you guys usually think of specials for like 
that correlate with the holidays or the season or mm. like the month? How does that come about? Mm, a little bit of both. Um, ideally, I like to try to think of specials ahead of time, mm-hmm. but sometimes it gets so busy that I don't, and kind of we just bring we bring back like really popular mm-hmm. flavors. But I know in May we're gonna be focused on a lot of like Asian flavors because it's AAPI month. Oh yeah, yep. In May, so we're gonna be bringing in a lot of like Asian specials that nice. month. With which is I'm really excited about. Um, and then, but in general, I just think about desserts or combinations that yeah. I really like, like the mango sticky rice. Like I love oh, mango yeah. I was just about, that was oh my God. My <laughs> I was waiting to find a lull and I was going to say, you like, have no idea how Tim was like, I need to go. Yeah. He was like, everything's like, I got to go try this before it like, yeah, goes you, away. You, you watch the baby. Like, first. <laughs> I'll go get some cow cow. Like, <laughs> I have to I go. He's texting him, where are you? <laughs> he's like, nowhere. He's just trying to eat his ice cream real quick. Exactly. Just trying to enjoy it. Did you bring me one? Mm. I didn't go. Yeah, the, the ice cream melted. <laughs> I got, sorry, not I got two well. at the time. Mike's track cover for Tim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shout out, shout out, Mike. So yeah. mango sticky rice, is that your jam? That was um, that was a special that we had um sometime last year i don't even remember mm. when but um yeah i love mango sticky rice as a, as a dessert and um big feeling made sticky rice ice cream that tastes wow just like sticky rice oh my God. I'm trying to stand um, that sticky rice ice cream yeah so you gotta go and try it man <laughs> <laughs> well i don't i don't, I don't it, just sticky rice it. plain i put soy sauce in my sticky no, rice no, yeah. oh, you know what mango sticky rice is right the sticky rice is actually sweet you get it's coconut milk and it's sweetened mm-hmm. so it gets poured on top Please tell me you've had this. No, Mimi. I'm trying to follow you, this though. This is a Lao and Thai thing, Terry. It's, like, yeah. essential. Lao, I just remember, like, I don't know, the egg rolls they pass out. That's not real egg rolls, and I always get sad. Or the, the Rice Krispie treats that aren't Rice Krispie treats. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I know what you mean. Treats. I know what you mean. But oh, this whole, like, mango and sticky <laughs> rice thing is a dessert. It's, like, you get really sweet mango. It has to be, like, very sweet, ripe mango. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not like the green mango. I've been to Laos three times, and each time I'm there for a month. I've never had this. <laughs> Well, you're missing out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so the sticky rice flavor, is it really seeps in really well to that. And it has like, sometimes you get like a bite of sticky rice because he actually soaks oh, sticky rice in it. Oh, I was going to say, like, did they use? Yeah. Oh. So he actually oh. uses sticky I know. rice to make the ice cream. And this ice cream is vegan friendly, which is great. Wow. Um uh, and you know we put mangoes on it, condensed milk, and it tastes just like mango sticky rice, which is awesome. Uh, Super creative to put that in ice cream form. Yeah, and to make it a dessert. Yeah, that was like, really popular. Taking a spin hey, on big, sh- big shout out to them. Dessert, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, I mean I've had it multiple times, and <laughs> I'll tell you, I, I didn't know that. Like I was legit mind blown in that moment. I had to take a moment because I was like, wow, <laughs> it's so still crazy. Still, like, hold on. Still, like, yeah, I'm having a. Yeah, it's like what? I'm it having tastes a moment. just like yeah. sticky rice. Yeah, it's getting hot. <laughs> I've never felt this way with food. I don't know. Man. Yeah. Do you still do this a food test then? For um, videos? I don't. I usually, I'm able to food test with the people who I produce with, yeah. and then that's kind of like how we go about it. But for the most part, I I trust them so much that that they know like what I'm trying to do. That sometimes I don't even taste the ice cream before, and they just. They got it. So yeah, well, they just awesome. know. You need Tim there if you ever need people in the future. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just say it. To help them out. <laughs> Yeah. Cause I don't know anything about fashion. I, obviously, we sell hoodies, so I'm always like Mimi. Like, what sizes should this anchor be? Which we have to talk about later. So. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So no, it's awesome. sectionless. Yeah, but yeah. So specials, they kind of just come. Yeah, when they come. That's cool though. Yeah. Do you ever get like a sort of inspiration? Be like, oh my god, I know what's gonna be next. Like, I know what yeah. I'm gonna do now. Sometimes it, it just comes. Yeah, yeah. but so other times it's it becomes more difficult like when there are no holidays and mm. stuff like that too it's also tough um with our birthday coming up our birthday cake special is coming back which is a really popular it's my one. second favorite <laughs> <laughs> mango sticky yeah. rice have we convinced you not i'm feeling a different vibe from him i've never felt i'm not just saying this either he doesn't like you know <laughs> it's, it's, the, uh, it's the was it the mochi pieces it's right that's what? in the birthday cake and uh, no it's that uh, the it's like cake. It's, oh, it's like this cake. is genuine. Like the yeah. vibe Tim has given off. Other people, I, I'm sure other people get the same way, right? Yeah. Like they're in this yeah, line, like, like they're waiting for like this crazy like concert or something. Yeah. They're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's really crazy when whenever we have a line outside because my mom sometimes like, my parents sometimes will just like drive by just to see like how business is doing because, you yeah. know, Asian parents. Um, <laughs> and they're like, wow, it's busy. Like, whoa. And then they text me like, 
busy today. <laughs> <laughs> they're, like, they're like texting other friends, <laughs> looking at my daughter. Yeah, they <laughs> have. Busy. They post it on Facebook. Yeah. Like oh. Facebook, they go live and they, they drive go live. It's like, <laughs> look at the store, so busy. <laughs> oh my God. That's come, a, come, come. That's come, so come, cute. Zap, zap. That is <laughs> cute. My dear. I was going to say that. My dear, my dear. That's, that's very cute. It just means like, come, come. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. So. Join us. Yeah, yeah. Like doing that on lives. So <laughs> we're at fifty-one minutes now. I guess we're gonna wrap up soon. We're not gonna wrap up soon, but I just I don't know. I know most people don't want to go. Yeah, over, we over definitely over should. Yeah. Um, I don't want to be completely selfish, but I do have one curious question. Yeah. I, I, we'll obviously, we're around. Um, is there a mark you want to leave? Maybe as your on behalf of yourself or on behalf of Cow Cow? Is there a mark you want to leave on the world in Rhode Island or just mm-hmm. on behalf of your family? Just curious. Mm, a mark. I think what. Well, what is really important to me is that people come into Cow Cow and they feel like co- they feel comfortable coming in. They feel as though they're going into a place that uh, is welcoming and is just a joyful place to be in. Um, and I want that to be reciprocated in all parts of our business. Like with our team, I want them to feel comfortable when coming into work. I want them to feel happy coming into work um, and that they look, they're looking forward to seeing, um, you know, their team and the rest of the team and um, just to have a good time. And I think that's the, the main point is that I want to make an environment that is comfortable for everyone and that it is possible to work in, in a place or to be in a place that just makes you feel comfortable and at ease when you go in there, um, whether you know the place or not. I think that was really uh, an important thing for me. Is that just um, just so that everybody can feel like, I feel like there's sometimes there are places that you go into and it kind of feels like kind of prissy or, feel, or you feel cold. like kind of out of place. Yeah. And I don't want Cow Cow to ever feel like that anywhere that we go that mm. we're just a part of that community and that you can just come in and be welcomed yeah that's a great answer that was a great question yeah. too i'm away from home right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. F- the feel goods all around yeah yeah i will work you one day yeah <laughs> yeah for i'll be there my date <laughs> i won't be sharing my dessert though yeah. <laughs> i don't do that on the first date don't share my dessert well oh. shout out to the cow cow team you guys are awesome yeah you guys wonderful you. people yeah doing great work out there oh yeah hold on <laughs> pause for <laughs> Cow Cow team is very awesome, and I love each and every one of them. <laughs> Are you doing finger hurt? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I, again, I'm sorry. <laughs> what someone was doing. I, I wanted to back you up, but I had no idea what you were doing. I was like, what's the acronym? Sorry, it was AAPI? Oh, yeah, it's, that's a Korean thing. They, they oh, totally yeah. popularized well, yeah, that. So. Finger hearts. A lot yeah. of people do it now. I know, but I'm just you know, I mean, this adding on to finger hearts? It's supposed to be Oh, if I go like this? Yeah. Yeah. Just educating the public. I just re- I just learned what Illy means the other day. Oh. So I'm not. What does Illy mean? I, I love it's I L Y. He just said oh, Illy. Yeah. 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 Cool. I'm not cool. super cool like he that. He says mm. Illy, like the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that how the kids That's, say it? Is that how you're supposed to say no. it? No. How are you supposed to say it? They just say I love oh, you, s- but it's I L Y. Oh, you just say I L Y. Yeah. All right, mom. I L Y. We gotta tell you a funny story. Um after <laughs> about acronyms in terry oh yeah np terry. i'll never forget it oh my god <laughs> we'll never let that down can we can we say that on camera can i tell that story tell the story if you want. all right sure. so I guess terry, terry was uh <laughs> terry was asking uh his roommate at the time like hey can you come pick me up from the airport yeah. um <laughs> he text and, and then he waited for his roommate to text back and he put np yeah like, you know like everyone knows the that as no problem back, NP. Yeah. Yeah. everybody knows that is <laughs> yeah. no, so problem. Terry, no problem terry processed it as not possible <laughs> So expect the worst <laughs> get the best i don't know uh, <laughs> i was just like Uber. okay I'll, I'll, I'll ask your brother now uh, so they were both like um who, i thought i was picking up you know alex and bryant yeah yeah i asked alex and alex was, was probably np i was like oh okay that's the problem man so i asked bryant and bryant was like okay but i thought i was picking you up i go no he said no he said not possible uh, <laughs> NP, yeah. NP. I so don't. Funny. I don't pick up on. I'm not socially savvy. I don't pick up on cues very well. So uh, I'm pretty. Yeah. <laughs> not possible. Well, he's not. Possible. You acknowledge that. About I know that yourself. about myself. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's good to know yourself, man. I'm, and we're not laughing. At no, I'm, we're, come we're on, I'm laughing at. No, not possible. Oh god. Yeah. It gets me every time. <laughs> every time. I love every that story. I NP. I'm, I think about that. NP. <laughs> Not yeah. possible. I mean, I guess if you don't know, <laughs> yeah. it's it's you can't like 
you can't be mad at it. It's totally understandable, right? Yeah, in the context, innocent too. innocent that he thought it totally meant not that possible. In, yeah, yeah, you can totally yeah. fit that in the context, too. Like, <laughs> it's an innocent mistake, it, but it's <laughs> it's a great, it's a great story. <laughs> yeah, I, I th- one time when I was a freshman in college, um, we don't have to put this in. This is just like another acronym. Do you want me to cut this out? I mean, you can put it in if I'll you want. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's entirely up to you. Um, I was in like bio lab or something. And one of my like bio groups, one of the guys that was in our bio group, um, he was like texting some girl, right? And I guess they were like talking about hooking up or whatever. And he, I don't know if he like, is from here or not mm-hmm. like <laughs> or like he just came here for school but he was like guys what does rn mean <laughs> like right now right, right now nursed or like yeah to me right now oh see i got nothing. it yeah I yeah him. like right now and he goes oh he's, he's like, like grabbing a stop. he's like yeah i gotta go guys. <laughs> <laughs> my parents <laughs> are gone <laughs> bio lab. what are they gone yeah, yeah. yeah. and oh, then yeah. he we were just like Oh, what happened? And then he told us after. We're like, oh. oh that's he had a different bio. He had a, yeah. He just dipped. He yeah. It. He had anatomy class. <laughs> <laughs> Ditch bio lab. I'm going to take yeah. my own anatomy class right yeah. now. I love the puns there. Yeah. But, yeah. What are you going to ask questions for V? Um, Thoughts, concerns? Do you? I know that you uh, had a whole Wait, list yeah, of questions. Yeah, you took notes. I mean, you, have, you have everything on your list you want to run? Something that we missed? You guys know I don't. I know. Care. I feel like yeah, I know, but I yeah. feel going like going through the list. <laughs> yeah, I did take notes for the first time ever. Though. Yes. Yeah. I am proud of that. I wrote down like five things. I don't know what I wrote down. But <laughs> it's nice. right. it's cool. I don't remember what I wrote, but I wrote them. <laughs> it's nice when it's fresh like that. You know, you kind of. Yeah. I just gotta get it down. So I guess we'll leave the the floor to you, V. Is there anything you wanna yeah. say before Shout we sign off? Um, socials, how to find you? Yeah. Um. Well, thank you. For having me, I really oh, appreciate thank you it. for yeah. for your time. <laughs> yeah, our pleasure. Of course, anytime, anytime. This was very fun. Um, but yeah, if anybody wants to find us, they can find us on Instagram, um, our website, and our Facebook. It's all Cow Cow Food. Um, that's K O W K O W Food. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yes. Cow Cow Food. Yes. Make sure you guys follow. You got to see the pictures. Just looking at the pictures on your Instagram. You can make, taste it. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. I guess you can taste it. I'd be like, oh, I look at it like, I wish it wasn't so far away. Not <laughs> far away. <laughs> Who thinks that? It, oh, wow. I'm in Rhode Island. Oh, within Rhode Island. A 10 minute That's drive so is far from me. I'm not going, guys. But I'll go to the closest Duncan. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's very like, you look at it and you're just like, oh my God, I have to try it. Like, oh. I have to. Thank cool sign. You. Gonna make, you know, an effort. To go. Thank you. Which that, you need to do. We will say, <laughs> which one is the memes? Which one? We clap. The, that one. Platform. All right. Yay. That was fun. Thank you.